Welcome to this tutorial on managing projects and websites with Excite Pro. We designed Excite Pro to be as comprehensive and feature rich as possible, while at the same time making it as easy as possible to add new content. This refined simplicity begins with our project and site management tools. In this lesson, we'll learn how to manipulate projects in Excite Pro from adding to renaming and even deleting. We'll learn how to add meta information that will filter down to the project's sites and even its individual web pages. We'll also learn how to do the same with the web pages within a project. And finally, we'll get a little practice exporting and importing a website should the need arise. Let's start with adding a new project. Projects can keep your various sites neatly organized in categories. For example, say that I want to sell pet supplies online. Rather than creating one mega site with supplies for all pets listed under one roof, it makes sense to have multiple sites that each cater to a particular type of pet. Customers looking specifically for bird supplies are not only more likely to find you in the search engines, they're more likely to buy from you, the specialist, than from a general pet supply website. We're going to branch into another of our passions, namely bicycles. Simply click the Add Project button to bring up a new project. We'll give it the generic name Bicycles so that all the cycling related sites we create will fit into that project. Now we simply add a description for the project. Useful for clarifying project goals, though this info won't show up on any of your pages. Then we'll add some keywords. For each site in your project, their standard lists of keywords will initially be based off of this list, so there is no retyping required. And finally, you have a spot for any project related notes. Now, this can be anything from bits of research to visionary ideas about the project's direction. Let this field serve as your digital cocktail napkin that's always at your fingertips, ready to launch your ideas into reality. Note that you can rename or remove any project by either clicking its corresponding button or selecting the option from your right click menu. We'll just rename it Cycling Related Sites. Good. Now it's time to add a website or two to our cycling project. Just select your desired project and click Add Website. You're prompted to choose whether you'd like to select one of Excite Pro's numerous sales letter or affiliate site templates or simply start from scratch. While the templates are excellent for putting a site together in record time, for full flexibility, it's best to start with a blank website and we'll build an entire site from scratch as we progress through this tutorial series. I'll call this site Bikes for Tykes, since it's going to be a site for children's bicycles. As you can see, we've got some information about the site to fill in. First, let's give it a title. Unlike the title in your project pane, people are actually going to see this one, so make sure that it's both audience and search engine friendly. If you've done your homework, the keywords list should already be populated from your project's keyword list. Go ahead and add additional keywords that are specific to this site. This list will in turn serve as the parent list for every page in the site you create. You'll be able to edit the individual page's keywords too. Once that's done, type in a description of the site, being sure to include most of your keywords. The description will show up in the meta information of every page you create, and some search engines make use of this information. Likewise, the author and copyright information will be spidered by the search engines, so be sure to enter appropriate information there as well. The Other Notes section is to your site what the Notes section was to your project, a receptacle for your ideas, research notes, contact information of other involved parties, links, and other resources. Use this field as much or as little as you like. Now, let's save and close the site for now and get back to our project view. This can be done from the file menu, your toolbar, or down at the bottom of your window. Any of your sites can be reopened by double-clicking its listing, or by clicking once and choosing the Edit button. Just as with projects, you can rename or delete a site using the Tools buttons. However, you can also move a site from one project to another or copy it, either to a different project or to the same one.
Another cool feature is the ability to export and import your sites. If you have a site you want to move to another computer with Xsite Pro installed, simply click the Export button and then choose a file name and destination. Xsite Pro creates a special XSE file that contains the entire site, all images, all pages, all settings, all everything. To import it at the destination, simply choose your project, click Import, navigate to the XSE file you created, and open it. Xsite Pro takes care of the rest. Keep in mind that no matter where you are in the program, you can always press F1 if you get stuck, and a context-sensitive help window will appear. That's all there is to creating a project and adding sites to it. To recap, we've covered the creation and editing of both projects and websites, learned about adding notes and meta information, and have even learned how to export a project. Be sure to check out our next tutorial on the wonders of the page layout tab.